All right, I want to give you the solution for our CFU number one. If you want to add this to your notes, it's optional, but some students like to have more examples in their notes. By all means, you can write down this as an example. So first step is we want to isolate the absolute value bars. In this example, they're isolated, right? All we have on the left side is just the absolute value of 2x plus 3, and the right side is number 5. So we are going to break this down into two equations. So it's going to be 2x plus 3 equals, I'm going to say negative 5, just so I don't forget that one. And I like to put the negative on the left side anyway. And then 2x plus 3 equals positive 5. All right. So now we just solve each equation. Subtract 3 from both sides. Subtract 3. Subtract 3. We get 2x equals negative 8. Divide by 2 both sides. x equals negative 4. Right side, same thing. I subtract 3 from both sides. So I get 2x equals 5 minus 3 is 2. Divide both sides by 2. x equals 1. Let's do our check here just mentally. I'll just say it out loud for you. Um, 2 times negative 4, that's negative 8. Negative 8 plus 3, negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. 5 equals 5, check. Substitute the 1 for 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. The absolute value of 5 is 5. Check. There's your first one. Try your next CFU.